Priestess Lamia, and I want to talk to you about a subject that is also, honestly, a new course program, right? It's called the Goddess Frequency. And um, some of you may know, I'm trying to pull up some notes here. Um, if you are new to Lamiel TV, welcome 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 I appreciate you being here I am very blessed that you've decided to spend some of your time and your energy with me and for those of you that are coming back and spending some time with me in my little priestess palace energy I appreciate you I'm glad you're here and we're going to talk about the goddess frequency in general right for everyone and then I'm going to um, talk about the new program that I have because it is my, oh, look at that hair back there. It is um, my Thanksgiving Black Friday special that I will be running all month because I believe all women need this. All women need this, right? All women ultimately are goddesses and have goddess energy and um, we benefit as women and the men in our lives and the children in our lives and the other people who love us benefit greatly when we are operating from our own personal goddess energy and we're able to tap into that because uh, when you tap into your goddess energy right you fill yourself up and then all of the people around you benefit from the overflow. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, I've done videos on the overflow. I've got like a little rant on Instagram. If you haven't seen that, go check it out on the overflow, living in the overflow. But you are the overflow. You are the overflow. The overflow comes from you. And the way that you create the overflow is by filling yourself up with goddess energy with feminine energy with um you know divine spiritual energy with abundance um with financial abundance right you you can't fill other people's cup and i know you've heard that if your cup is empty so when you start filling yourself up financially emotionally spiritually sensually um sexually then it overflows into the lives of the people that you choose to have close. So let's talk a little bit about um, the process of getting into the goddess frequency. And so the process, let me back up because I need to remind people that um, my clients have shifted right a lot of you have been with me through the years and i have historically had courses for both men and women right now my courses are um, specifically for women my videos benefit men and women but uh, the courses themselves are specifically for women and uh, so there's a little bit of a change there okay um as we move into um, my more spiritual based courses. I have a very distinct process. And this is a process that you need to use, even if you know what you're trying to do right now is to tap into your goddess frequency. When you are in your goddess frequency, um, you ever get dressed and you just like, how you feel, you feel so fucking good that nothing can go wrong. You feel like you look so good, nobody's going to tell you no. You know that you are unstoppable. You know, no matter what anybody says that day, you are fucking gorgeous. And uh, anybody who doesn't think so can get it. You know what I'm saying? That is, that is your divine, sensual goddess energy. 
when you walk out of the house in the morning and you feel like you can get any man or woman that you want, that no one is going to deny you anything. That is that goddess energy, right? You are tapped in, tuned in, and turned on to your goddess energy when that's how you're feeling and that's how you're operating. And the goal is to not be like, eh, I have one of those days every once in a while. The fucking goal is to have to live from that energy, to make decisions from that energy, to share your gifts with the world from that energy. When you can do that, you are tuned in, tapped on, turned on, and you are unstoppable. You are undeniable. And we're here to create and co-create. And so when you're undeniable, right, and you are aligned with source, you get what you want. You get what you want. You get the experiences that you want and the experiences that you need. And you are a benefit to everyone around you. Now, women are not all um, feminine energy. We all have both feminine and masculine energy, right? Um, My intention is to help women tap in to their feminine energy, their goddess energy. And the reason why is because I do feel like we have moved away from that. We've moved away from that because women have been trying to survive in a man's world. And they thought, you know, and we were taught that to survive in a man's world, you know, you had to play the man's game. And for some people, they've had, you know, women, you've had to work really hard and they were able to survive in a man's game, but we didn't win. We haven't won. Right? There's no equality. And I know this is going to rub some people the wrong way, but it's not about equality. If you're out there looking for equality, you know, you want the same pay, you want the same everything. We're not the same. See, I believe that when you are tapped in, turned on, tuned in, and completely aligned with the essence of who you are, You don't need equality because being a goddess, living from goddess energy, being aligned with source, you get to have more money. You get to do the job you want. You get to be of service. You get to have everything that you want, quote unquote, having it all. It exists for you. It exists for all of us. And we don't have to come from a place of dominant masculine energy or God energy to get it, right? I don't want my man (laughs) to be as feminine as me. And I don't want to be as masculine as he is. I want what I want and I expect to get it. It's that simple. I want what I want. And I expect to get it. And I expect to get it not because I can match another man's masculinity. I expect to get it because I'm a goddess, because I am in tune with my feminine energy, because the feminine energy is about fluidity and ease and flow and allowing So I decide what I want and I graciously in my feminine energy sit back and allow room for the masculine energy to deliver what it is that I've requested. It's that simple. Now, some women are going to go, you can't sit around and wait for a man. That's not what I mean. I don't mean that a man has to do anything, right? It's the energy So if I decide, um, trying to think of something that is everyday life kind of stuff, you know, um, I decided I wanted duck tacos. It's like, huh, I'm kind of in the mood for some duck tacos. I could easily afford to go down the street. The place is... 10 minutes from my 20 minutes, maybe from my house and buy duck tacos. Like 
I'm not saying that there are pieces of jewelry that I love that I buy for myself. And then there's things when I go, mm, someone else should give that to me. And they do. There are times when I have a project that needs to be completed and I've got to go to the courthouse and I've got to go here and I've got to find someone who's going to do the paperwork and there's a project. Shit, you could be, you know, into real estate. But from the place of feminine energy, right, um, those things get done because I allow the space for it. Whether a woman does it, a man does it, and I do part of it, the idea is that it flows and it gets done without strong arming or me causing my masculine energy to be dominant. I have masculine energy. Masculine energy is, you know, is not fluid. It's straight, direct, you know, um, way more forceful. Feminine energy is about receiving. So I do put myself in the energy of receiving, receiving what I want, right? And um, masculine energy is about giving. 